I started thinking about medical school maybe around my junior year of college. I was lucky that I had two parents that are physicians. My father is a hospitalist and my mother is an oncologist, so I kind of grew up in the culture of medicine. I always had um, the feeling that I wanted to do a career that helped people. Um, and I had the example of my mother as a, as a nurse. Uh, when I was young, I thought that I needed to be something different. Um, in Tuskegee, Alabama, it's a very rural area. Um, there's a VA there, but we don't have many uh, facilities where we have access to medical care, so we would have to drive to neighboring cities, Auburn or Montgomery, to get <coughs> excuse me, medical assistance. So, I didn't see many doctors, there wasn't anything to kind of prompt me to want to be a doctor, but I, I don't know, God gave me this vision to basically, you know, be a doctor. And I think it was when I got a job at Grady as a sitter, where I, I looked after uh, patients who had risk of falling, who, you know, were uh, violent patients or just needed assistance with, you know, anything, and that was like, actually my first time being exposed to uh, you know the medical world, you know, just being in the hospital all the time, and just seeing all these physicians make a huge difference, uh, really just inspired me to to want something better for myself. I was more of an athlete, so I really was my route to get out of um, out of the area where I'm from was basically sports. And like when that didn't happen, I, that's when I started to turn to college. And once I got to college. Um, the athletic training program allowed me to meet like several other professions that I wasn't like used to, and uh, after getting around some of the doctors and just understanding what they do, like that kind of got me interested into medical school. But one thing that really changed my opinion was in high school when I was deciding like what college did I want to go to and what was my major. You know, I saw the impact that my parents had on the community and the area around them. And I also really like the change of how you would take an ordinary student or a person and train them into a highly specialized individual, you know, able to treat people. We're not all from families where somebody in the family was a doctor. So you can achieve it even if your background isn't in medicine. That it's a worthwhile thing to do. It's a fulfilling career. You help people from a young age, I always told people that I wanted to be a doctor, I wanted to be a doctor, and nobody stopped me.